Welcome to Red Tastic. Story 1. Hi everyone. I'm making this post to seek your opinions before taking this drastic decision. I have very few friends, and they all think I'm a greedy gold digger after I told them about my decision to end my five year old marriage, and it hurt me a lot. I thought they should be backing me now and encouraging me, or even trying to put themselves in my shoes. But sadly, they don't seem to think for me at all. Luckily, I recently found out that I could post my story online and get some unbiased thoughts and opinions. I do love my husband, Elliot, 30 male, a lot and would have easily forgiven him if it was about something else. But in this situation, I don't think I can. By the way, I'm Lauren, 27 female. I have been married to Elliot for almost five years now. We met while I was in my final year of college. Elliot had just graduated from college and was having some rough moments trying to secure a stable job and kept juggling between several part-time jobs. I met him while he was working as a bartender. That time, I had just broken up with my then-boyfriend and went to clear the mess off my head. I did attain my goal, but that night I went home without my phone after getting a little too drunk. I found out the next morning and decided to check with the bartender the night before. Luckily, Elliot kept it well for me. I tried tipping him, but he turned it down. Soon we became very good friends and would hang out whenever he was free. Three months after our first meeting, Elliot and I started dating. A few weeks later, he got a stable job and our love for each other only deepened. A year after graduating from college, Elliot took me on a romantic date where he proposed to me. I said yes, and not long after, we tied the knot. Our wedding was very sweet and romantic. I thought I was the luckiest woman on earth to be married to Elliot, but now I'm only filled with hate and regrets. Can you imagine Elliot has been cheating on me for over five months now? Yes, you heard me right. I love Elliot so much, but I don't want to let it affect my rational judgment. I want to make a decision that would be best for me. I know I should be forgiving, and I tried to reason with him when I found out about his first affair, but it only made things worse. Elliot is a software developer. During COVID, he created an app that was an instant hit with millions of downloads, making me a millionaire's wife overnight. He quit his job and became a self-entrepreneur. His attitude began to take a turn, for the worse the very moment he became rich. Last year, I experienced hell in our marriage. Elliot would live home for several weeks and claim he was away on business trips. I once saw a message from a girl he was dating and we quarreled about it, but I finally forgave him after he promised to amend his ways. But two months ago, I made a more shocking discovery, which is why I am so determined to divorce him and teach him a better lesson that he can never forget. I am a remote worker, so I spend most of my time at work. That fateful evening, I was working on an urgent project. When my laptop started misbehaving and the screen began to glitch, I did everything to get it back on track, but it just wouldn't respond. I was so furious that I just threw it somewhere and went for Elliot's laptop to continue my work. He usually doesn't like me using his laptop, but that day he wasn't around, so I just went for it hoping I would get the job done before he returned since I was time bound. I connected the laptop to the Wi-Fi as most of the materials I needed were online. Some 30 minutes into my work, I received several notifications from Elliot's WhatsApp. I wanted to ignore it, but the messages kept popping up. So I decided to mute the notifications, which led me to the heartbreaking discovery. The message read, Babe, I'm pregnant. I was in a daze and kinda confused. Before I knew it, I was scrolling through their messages and guys, it was heartbreaking. For the past five months, Elliot had been dating this girl he called Lovia, and now she claimed she was pregnant. It's worth noting that I had been on birth control pills all along because Elliot claimed he was too busy to father kids for now. Suddenly, it dawned on me that my marriage to him had been a joke all along. I thought I had enough and was about to close the laptop when Elliot suddenly replied to her message. He said, Oh baby, that is great. I thought he would panic or even be furious, but his reply confirmed otherwise. Lovia sent him a love emoji, 
I kept watching like someone who just landed in space. Lovia finally got the courage to ask him how I would react. To my horror, Elliot told her I dare not be against him after all he had enough money and was free to do whatever he liked. So all that mattered was he loved her. Realizing I had no value to him anymore, I made up my mind to divorce and teach him a better lesson. I took a few screenshots of their messages as evidence. I found myself a female lawyer, told her my story, and she decided to help me win half his wealth as compensation. Next, I went to take a test for STDs, and luckily, the result was negative. I continued acting normal around the house. A month later, Elliot finally got the guts to tell me about his affair partner. He told me it was a mistake, but he wanted to take responsibility for his actions, so he asked his affair partner to move in with us. I mean, he wasn't even asking for my opinion. He was just telling me. I lost my cool and told him on the spot that I was tired of him and wanted a divorce. He thought I was kidding, but last week I served him the divorce papers. Realizing the amount he was going to lose, he refused to sign. He said he won't let me have my way. We are currently attending court over the issue. We stay in the same house, but we don't sleep in the same room anymore. My friends are calling me all sorts of mean names over my decision. But I just think I deserve better. So am I wrong in demanding a divorce? I'm so hurt that I can't think straight right now. So please leave your comment to help me figure things out. Update. The divorce proceedings have been finalized and the good news. I walked away with a bit under 50% of his assets and savings. By the way, thank you all for the tremendous love and support you showed me. I appreciate it. Yesterday, his mistress sent me some awful texts. She called me a gold digger and even had the guts to claim I had taken away what should have been hers and I angrily gave her a piece of my mind. I told her how shameless she was to become the baby mama of someone else's husband. I blocked her after that. As for Elliot, I haven't heard from him since. I guess he's busy thinking about how much his infidelity has cost him. Moving forward, I plan to work on myself and build my career. Your ex-husband hurt you deeply and it seems like he changed drastically after his huge success. I'm sorry your marriage turned sour when it was supposed to be even better now that you two don't have to worry about money anymore. I don't blame you for divorcing him and taking half his assets. You believe it's what can compensate you for everything he has done. He cheated on you, basically disregarded your marriage and then brought another woman into it and she happens to be pregnant with his child after he told you he isn't ready to be a father. I'm sorry that had to happen. Glad you got what you wanted. Take good care of yourself and put all this behind you. Story 2 I, 30 male, have a pretty big family and we recently celebrated Christmas on Thanksgiving because everyone would be together. I got my mother, 55 female, a gift card for those eyelash extensions that women have been getting lately. It was quite expensive and should apparently last her about a year, including refill appointments. My mom has very thin hair on her head and eyebrows and eyelashes, and it is something she has always been insecure of. My dad, 60 male, thought it would be a good gift idea as well. Well, when she opened it, she was very happy and thankful. My wife, 28, however, seemed annoyed with the gift, but I thought it was because it was expensive. Later that night, she confessed that she had seen the gift card and assumed that it was for her. She was upset because, apparently, she also wanted to have fake lashes and was upset that I had given the gift card to an old woman and not to her. I told her she can still go get her eyelashes done, but she thinks it will look like she's trying to copy my mother. I told her that it wasn't that big of a deal and she was being dramatic. She told me that she thought I knew her better and would know what she wanted. I got her an air fryer because she specifically asked for one, but apparently that wasn't enough. She told me that it was embarrassing that I got my mom a more expensive gift than I got her. Now she's wanting me and my dad to convince my mom not to get the eyelashes because she's too old to be doing stuff like that. Am I the a-hole here? OP, your wife is the a-hole for thinking your mother doesn't deserve a nice gift. And also, it's silly to think that getting eyelashes is copying someone. There was no need for her to say rude things about your mom. And she needs to cut it out by trying to convince your mother. 
that she's too old to look her best. However, I suspect your wife was pissed because of the price difference in gifts and also the fact that she saw the gift ahead of time and assumed it was for her. Your wife is the a-hole here and she shouldn't be lashing out at your mother over this. But you need to understand that she probably feels somewhat cheated because of how thoughtful your mom's gift was. Now for some comments. I feel like the problem is that the wife saw the gift card and probably thought it was super thoughtful of OP to get her a gift that she wanted but hadn't asked for. So finding out it wasn't even for her must have been pretty sad for her. But her reaction is way out of line. You can be upset without demanding the mom doesn't even use her gift because of her age. It's also not OP's fault when he didn't know the wife wanted it and I assume didn't think she would see it. It's just an unfortunate situation, but the wife is easily the a-hole OP, not the a-hole. Absolutely cruel of the wife to try to take the gift away from her mother-in-law and also cruel to ask that of her son and husband. She's past her expiration date and therefore worthless. Not only does she deserve to have her gift taken away for having the audacity to want to do something that makes her feel good, the gift should now go to me because you should have anticipated my childish jealousy. Also, whose first instinct is ever to assume someone is copying their mother-in-law? About a very common trend. When are they around people who would even make that comparison? Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. And your wife is being quite cruel. Do not back down on this with your wife. And do not let your wife bully your poor mother into not getting eyelash extensions. That's absolutely ridiculous. You got your wife a great gift she literally asked for. It's not like you splurged on your mom and got your wife nothing. But it sounds like your wife has an issue with your mom getting the eyelash extensions period. Not the cost of your gift, which is petty and super effing lame of her. I missed the memo that women at age 55 aren't allowed to do things to make them feel beautiful and confident. Your wife needs to grow up and realize her jealousy and resentment isn't a cute look. Story 3 When I, 31 male, was in college, I had a brief relationship with an exchange student who then left to go back home and I never heard from her again. Last year, she contacted me out of the blue and told me we have a child together. He is now 9 years old. She got sick and told me so that our kid would have me in case anything happens to her. She is luckily recovering now, she's okay. I met my son, he started spending time with my family and is now living with me most of the time. Because his mom is in the hospital. My wife wasn't happy about my kid when we found out, but she found a way to deal with it. We have two kids together, boys aged 5 and 4, and my wife is currently 7 months pregnant. My ex and I made an arrangement to share custody of our kid 50-50 once she's out of the hospital. My wife wants me to only have my son here for the weekends and not to have him here live with us half the time. Because he has some behavioral issues, but he's not violent or a danger to the other kids. And is still a little jealous of his siblings. My wife worries he will get even worse when the baby comes. I know she's pregnant, hormonal and worried, but this is my child we are talking about. My wife has told me many times that I'm inconsiderate and don't take her concerns seriously saying my son's behavior is making her nervous and scared, and that is jeopardizing her pregnancy. Am I the a-hole for not being more accommodating to my pregnant wife? Update. My ex just contacted me and told me that she is going to have to stay in the hospital for much longer than she anticipated. Think at least six months more, possibly longer. Due to some complications, and when I told my wife, she completely freaked out and said I ruined her life and that she doesn't even want to have a family with me anymore. Edit. As advised. My wife knew my son would at some point probably have to move in, and she still wanted to have this baby. Also, he's not violent. He talks back a lot, doesn't obey until we get really angry. He tries to push the boundaries, etc. He has some anger issues, like throwing his toys into the wall. He is in therapy and has been for over a year. His therapist says it's a way of expressing his feelings. His mom was seriously ill. He had to move in with a new family, etc. Me and him are also in a family therapy together, working on our dad-son relationship. Now for some comments. You're the a-hole. You seem to have incredibly little sympathy for your wife, 
who is going to have to put up with a child that isn't hers living in her home half the time, acting out, and potentially having a negative impact on her children. I get that you didn't do this on purpose, but you have altered the course of her life irrevocably, and your attitude seems to be a little more than telling her to suck it up. I could imagine him meeting you as a father was really something he wished for to happen and also getting new brothers. That is something you dream about as a child, a happy family with siblings. Your wife is basically the other woman in his eyes, so he treats her like that. As your wife, I also wouldn't be amused about this change in my life. You also won't solve this on Reddit. Maybe his feelings towards her can be talked about in your therapy sessions. OP, I really feel for you in this situation. Your wife works full-time in the office while pregnant and you are working from home while taking care of three kids now. Now consider what happens when your wife gives birth. Yes, she's going to be on maternity leave. But as you probably know, recovering from childbirth is hard. A newborn plus your two existing kids plus the new son with behavioral issues plus sleep deprivation is not a winning combination for anyone. Your heart is in the right place, but your wife is thinking through this logically. I would go with weekends only until you have the baby and you've settled into a routine. Your new son would likely also do better with the weekend only arrangement, so he can have proper attention devoted to him. No a-holes here.